Hello internet, welcome back to the Roniverse. Aaron here with some more Pokemon Moon Black 2. And well, you know, before we begin this episode, I do want to say something. Um, I kind of want to try something a little bit different, starting from this video forward. Um, I realized, especially looking at last video, that I'm sort of rushing things. Um, I don't know why. I mean, I can handle... 50 to 1 hour videos, but I just seem to worry all the time that, oh no, my video is getting too long, maybe not that many people will watch it, but like, not a lot of people watch my videos anyway in general, so you know, I figured I'd just have fun with the game, and just take it slow and easy, so I feel like from this point forward, I kind of want to just take it really slow, I don't think I want to use the speed up button as much anymore, um, I think, I feel I would rage less, especially, if I try to do that approach. And, um, I think the main goal, of course, the main reason why I started this channel, or like, I started making videos again was so I could have fun playing Pokemon videos again. Pokemon, playing Pokemon games, rather, you know? This isn't about getting really big on YouTube or getting a lot of viewers. I'm kind of, I was kind of getting like, lost in the original reason as to why I revived my YouTube channel, you know? it's I'm here to have fun. I'm not here to just, like, get pissed off all the time. That's that's not who I want to be. So, I feel I figured let's, let's restart, you know? Starting from this video onwards, I'm gonna restart, I'm gonna take it really fucking slow, and I'm not gonna care if people are annoyed, or if what the reaction will be, if there's ever any reaction whatsoever, if there isn't, then honestly, that's pretty fine. I'm just gonna chill, you know? I'm gonna play this game. I'm not gonna rush anything. I'm not gonna ignore people's texts. I'm not gonna worry that I'm not speaking all the time. Because honestly, that shouldn't really be an issue. I don't know. I mean, I think I was, it's because I was uh, born. No, I was trained to be a mass communication dude. Especially in radio broadcast, um, we were taught that in college, and it's apparently cardinal sin to have dead air. So that's pretty much the reason why I'm always worried if I'm not speaking for more than like two seconds and there's like silence on my side. Because I think that this, that's going to draw viewers away. So from this point forward, I'm going to just go with the flow. I'm going to read stuff like I, I really should. And... We're going to begin today. What I want to do, I'm going to explore the rest of Castelia City the way it's meant to be explored. I'm going to read some texts. Alright. It's the Castelia Harlequin hunt. Alright, let's, uh, I think we have, we had all the guys from last episode. We found them all. Yeah, zero. Okay. It means you've completed it. Alright, this is a small commemorative gift, a rare candy. Is that what they actually gave you in the original games? Alright. There's a way to make more people love Castelia City. That's why we generously gave you a uh, shiny charm at the beginning. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, shiny charm. Did we give that to anyone? Let me check the items these guys are holding. We have an amulet coin. Charcoal. Rhonda. Um... Does the shiny charm only work if you have the Pokemon holding it at the first slot of your team? I cannot remember actually. Is that, uh, wait, what? Where is it? Where did I, where is that? Is that in the key items? This is not really here. Ah! Oh. Oh, you're not supposed to give it to anyone. It's, it's just on you and now you're double the chances of finding a, sh a shiny. That's actually really cool. I remember in the original games, you were supposed to, I think, find every single, or no, catch every single Pokemon in the Unova Pokedex, or was that the National Pokedex? I can't remember off the top of my head, but something along the lines of that, but it's pretty cool that they gave that to us, like, right away, like, right now. It might, you know, who's gonna think we're gonna find a shiny in this playthrough? Type it in right now. Let's see the bets. Uh, oh yeah, we've already been through this one. I want to see though, where where did they 
where were those uh, alleyways? I remember there were a couple alleyways or something that we could go to. I can't remember where to enter those though. Is it in here? Now this is the one with the uh... Oh hey, you can buy Castellia cones, right? Hell yeah! We don't get as many customers as we used to. Whining won't accomplish anything. Alright, just have to work hard to sell them. Alright. How about a Castellia cone? 100? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, we'll buy 12, why not? I think that should be more than enough. They're, they're way cheaper than full heals, absolutely, and they work exactly the same. Oh, hello. What's going on? Alright. <laughs> I thought it was glitched or something. There's a shop that sells ice cream. Oh, you're getting more no you're getting more uh traction I guess. Okay. So the more you buy here, I guess the more people will notice and this these guys will I don't know, these guys will get more attention. That's something cool I guess. Wait, did we go into this building yet? Studio Castellia. I don't think we entered this place yet. This is Burr's artwork apparently. I'm exhibiting works from up and coming young artists. Ugly truth, vanished hero, eternal ideas. I really wish you could like actually see what these look like because they don't look like anything to me right now. Spur, I have a liking for paintings. Today I'd like to paint a normal type. Wait, I think I have one. I mean, Russell's part normal type, right? Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, nice. Um, is this? Actually, what the guy does in the original games, because that's pretty damn cool. Wait a minute, I'm going to adjust my laptop positioning, because my arm is hurting right now. I don't even know what's going on. Okay, I think that should be better. Wait, wait a minute. <clears throat> adjust my chair, so I get in a better sitting position and not slouch. Oof, I do need, I think, a custom, like a separate keyboard, because this is not an ergonomic setup I'm using right now. Can we choose any berry? Oh, we can only choose from these five. What do I need? What's actually really good? Chesto berry actually might be good. Can we come back to you in another day or something? Alright, come back tomorrow. There's so many stuff we're supposed to remember to come back to. I remember there was still that one Harlequin in one of these buildings. I can't even remember anymore, but we saw him uh, in the previous episode. He was one of those uh, Harlequins, just like in Verbank City, right? And he he would give us a Pokemon depending on the season. He would give us like a starter Pokemon. I want to place a bet. Was he in here? 22? 22nd floor? I don't even care if this, uh, this video is just another like... <laughs> Another like 30 minutes of me dicking around. Oh, no, this is the Morimoto building. This is where I got dicked down by Game Freak Morimoto previously. His goddamn Noivern was ridiculous, by the way. All right. Um, I think you can actually also battle this dude. I can't remember his name, but he's also like one of the uh, Game Freak developers. Should we challenge him right now? I say we do. I want to see how we react now that I'm a promise not to rage anymore. We're going to be chill. Uh, and we're going to give him the battle that he deserves. Uh, we're going to strategize some stuff. Um, leftovers is important. Ah, oh, yeah, I remember. I remember this guy has leftovers on all of his Pokemon. Oh, dear. Mm. Well, it's a good thing I saved. I, want, I just want to see how strong his Pokemons are. What's your name again, boy? I can't remember. You are a game freak, right? Game Freak Nishino. Oh, you have one Pokemon only. Ah, oh, shoot. It's a Snorlax. Shit. I bet it's high level. 24. Okay. That's honestly uh, doable, I think. I mean... I mean, I say that sparingly. Alright, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to lower your attack for the time being. So, uh, maybe you hopefully won't be able to do that much. Uh-oh. Straight off the bat. Special defense raising. Eesh. Hmm. How much does return do? Let me just check. Are you like a 5 shot? That's like a 20 shot. Oh my goodness. And you have leftovers. 
Right. This is actually a lot harder than I expected. Um, can Lawrence do anything? Let's give it a shot. I don't want my uh, print club to fall asleep. All right, you have minus two attack now, right? How do you predict a yawn? Whoa, that's pretty sweet. This guy predicts a yawn, or like this guy predicts my switching, and you're back at full health. It's all right then. Wait a minute. Uh, do we have anything that heals sleep? I have one chesto berry. Oh no, I have twelve castelia cones. What am I saying? That should be, that should be good. Let's go for maybe a double kick. Maybe that'll do a lot. I'm hoping it does. No. Nothing much. You're so bulky. Oof. This shouldn't do much, right? No. Why do we resist that, though? What? Oh, no, wait. Is Heavy Slam a Steel-type move? Alright. Um. I mean, I hope it's a Steel-type move. Because that means we're pretty much fine right now. I'll use one of my Castelia Cones. You're gonna Amnesia again. Eee, eee, eee. Plus, four, plus four now. Special defense. That's ridiculous. You're like the ultimate stall. My goodness. Double kick again. We're, we're just hoping for crits at this point. And I don't think they're gonna come anytime soon. It's fine though. Do you only have Heavy Slam? Hmm. I don't have any Leers on my Pokemon now, do I? No, I don't have Leer anymore. Hmm. Wait a minute. Let's try Fire Fang. Maybe I should do Fire Fang when I'm at uh, Blaze. Oh, hey, there's a there's a critical I'm looking for. I think I'm at Blaze territory right now. I'm not entirely sure. Let's try and see. I'm holding a charcoal, aren't I? Let me check. Or was that from a different playthrough? Oh yeah, I'm holding a charcoal. Okay, charcoal plus stab plus the blaze ability. No, no, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. What am I doing? What am I doing? I have intimidate. I don't have blaze. I have intimidate. Fuck me. Oh gosh, I'm so forgetful. I'm so sorry. So this won't work. Shoot. Um, it did a lot more though than double kick, but that was only because of the crit. How much does it do? Sans crit. Let's give it one more shot. I'm really hoping you don't have any items, because that would just be unfair. That's another crit? What the hell? Yo, that's two straight crits. And of course you bubble. How lucky are you with your metronomes? Gosh darn, I kind of wish we had Blaze right now. I don't even care about Intimidate that much. Are you going to heal? No. Super Potion only. That's fine. That's sort of fine. Yeah, that doesn't bring back any of your health. E. And we can attack you twice at least. I think double kick does more. I really think double kick does more. Crit maybe? No, didn't think so. And we're gonna die. So uh, that was a good shot, I guess. I think I should have healed there. Oh no. That was a bad strat for me. That was on me, guys. Don't worry. Oof. Um, we need something that can hit really hard. I don't think I have that. Pingu? Can you hit hard with a return? That's the question. It's not even stab. Hmm. Let's just try our best. Maybe that'll do like four damage. Yeah, I kind of figured. And it's still not very effective. Wait, does water resist steel? I'm confused. I'm actually confused. This should kill you, right? Yeah, nice. Okay, Pingu gonna gather all that experience that was worth it that was actually uh, worth it Level 21 now I'm all for it uh, let's see 41 special attack now I'll take it almost level 22 goodness gracious that's Norlax giving out so much experience I love it so much what great Pokemon okay uh, the great number of steps seems to have increased their trust in you all right hoping a battle again tomorrow so that's a thing I, I keep forgetting um your pokemon gain like i don't know one happiness every i don't even know how many steps there's like a certain amount of steps that you have to take like literal just you walking around will uh garner you more happiness for your pokemon wait i'm, I'm gonna speed up just a little bit i'm gonna head back into the pokemon center 
And you know, we're not even gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna speed up on Pokemon Center healings. Alright? We're gonna do that because that's the most tedious part of this all this whole thing. I swear to god, I swear to god we're gonna go to Ash. Don't worry, don't you worry guys. Um oh god, let's appreciate this box art again. Um but for the meantime, I do wanna get rid of Graham. I'm so sorry. I have two Ralts now, goodness gracious. <laughs> And I'll keep around uh, Rattata because I think you still have the... Oh, no, no. You know what? I'm going to get rid of... Although we do... I do love a Death Fodder Pokemon. Now, I'll, 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 I'll keep you guys for now. Because before we go to Ash, because when we left the last episode, we were supposed to go help Ash with whatever he was doing. He was over at the sewers. But there was also a Harlequin that really caught my eye previously. I really want to get that Pokemon that he promised us. I can't remember which building it was though. So I'm going to have to feel lucky here. I'm going to have to go for my guesses. Um, is it in this building? No. There's no Pokemon. Harlequin at this building. He gives us a starter like that Harlequin did in Verbank City. And the reason I didn't get that starter last episode was I got too lazy to deposit one of my Pokemon because he won't give it to you unless you have a free slot in your party wait a minute was he up here wait let me check there are three buildings here goodness gracious I'm gonna go up 11th floor is he up here oh is this the one I think this is the one uh, before that, we are going to save to the first slot. I'm going to uh, save state just in case he gives us something that's not a grass type. If it's spring, you get Turtwig. If it's summer, you get Mudkip. If it's autumn, you get Chimchar. And if it's winter, you get Chikorita. I don't know my seasons because I live in a country that literally only has wet or dry. So I don't know. Is it summer right now? I'd love it to be summer because apparently I get Turtwig. I already save stated let's try it so he won't show us I'm gonna nickname this guy let me see what it is Chikorita wait yo oh that's a that's a Unovan Chikorita wait this could be good let me let me check it out I'm gonna give you a name though I'm gonna give you a name you're a, a boy Chikorita that's kind of interesting um I'll name you my favorite character from Friends, Chenanderbong, and then he goes on again about hidden grottos. Ah, oh, yeah, I think I missed some hidden grottos along the way. It's fine. What type is this? Unovan, Grass Ice. Oh, okay, so my, um, my predictions were right. This is a part ice type because it has like a frosty thingy on its leaf. That is pretty darn cool, but I do not ever want you to go near a fire type please oh please um so you don't actually have any grass type moves even you have a very high special attack it's neutral though because you're plus defense and minus special defense is that good i don't think that's good unless we just get hit by physical type fire type moves oof oh dear um haze that's actually pretty good if ever the opponent tries to um stat change too much Stat raise, ice ball and hail. You don't have good moves right now. I'll keep you in though. I don't know if I'll actually use you, but having a grass ice type or just actually a grass Pokemon would be is pretty favorable right now. I could go for an electric type Pokemon, but honestly, it's gonna be too much of a hassle right now to grind. So I'm just not gonna do that. All right, you know what? We're happy with this Pokemon. We are going to keep it. I am not going to enter that save state anymore. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep it. And I think we're finally ready. I mean, ah, oh, damn it. I still can't find where those alleyways I'm supposed to go to. To finish off this exploration. I don't remember how you enter them. I really don't. Wait, no. This just comes back here. All right. Trash can's empty. Vending machines here. No, we don't. I think we have enough healing items for the time being. It's alright. Game Freak. 
So we were, we were just from there. I'm sorry, Castelia City just looks... All the alleyways in Castelia City look so darn similar, honestly. Oh, did you see that? That's really cool. Wait a minute. Yo, there's like a Pikachu at the top there. Aw, oh, that's so nice. So this is not the pier where we came from, but what is this? The Royal Unova operates only in the evening. Please come back again. Alright, um, at the time... <laughs> Wait, uh, you can check the time below. 22.46, that's military time, isn't it? Alright, that's apparently... Wait, 22 minus 12 is 10. It's 10.46. I don't even know why I did the math. I can literally just check my computer time, but it's fine. Everyone's faces blend together. Is that because I'm tired? Yeah, capitalism does that to you. To live surrounded by people? You have to grow like everyone. You have to grow to like everyone. Or do you only have to like yourself? Oh, hello. That's Ash. Alright, uh... Let's further the plot, finally. 20 minutes into the video, fuck it. So this is the pier where we're supposed to head off to. Do we want to start? We're gonna have battles, I feel, because I think we're gonna go into these sewers real soon. Do I want to start off with Pingu? Sure, why not? Um, wait a minute. There's an extra entrance over here. This leads to the Sky Arrow Bridge, right? But we can't cross here yet. Quick! Oh, I got Pluck! Hello! Can anyone learn that? Oh, I realized. I forgot. You still need a Flying-type Pokemon. Oosh. Um, it would be cool to maybe use a Braviary sometime, anytime. During this playthrough, because I've never actually used one. I really hope they make it so um, it's found earlier in the game. That would be really cool. Plock, can anyone learn this? That's a really nice flying type move, actually. Hey, Pingu can learn it. Alright, I'm just going to give you all the moves, Pingu. Come on. Open wide and eat this CD. It's a better move. Way better move than Peck. I'll get rid of that for now. Alright. Here we go. Pingu. Is now viable against grass types. Sweet. The Castelia Harlequin Hunt is a way to make more people love Castelia City. Alright. So this guy always advertises about the whole shiny charm. Honestly, the rare candy was weird to give as a reward. I would have expected that the hack maker make it so the reward for finding all the Harlequins was the shiny charm. And maybe at the beginning, you just either give give nothing or maybe just give a plain rare candy because to be honest yeah the shiny charm is a way more valuable thing than the uh, rare candy so yeah we can't pass here yet we're inspecting sky arrow bridge to make sure it's strong enough first inspection in a few years so it may take a while yeah um they're not gonna let you through there though because a uh, pinwheel forest is buffed to hell in this game so you can't go in there until the post game finally Ash, so sorry I'm late. I was too busy exploring the city. You can go inside the sewers from here. Pretty suspicious. Let me see that. Ah, oh, yeah, that is mad sus. We couldn't do this in the original black and white games too, so it's pretty good. Hey, Gladion came to meet us. Did you find Team Skull? Nah. Ah, dirty Pokemon thieves. That means the only place I still haven't checked. Help me out. Really though, I can't remember where you enter those um, alleyways where you find that really weird nightclub or where you find that like guy who gives you that random dark type TM. There was one, I found that. I saw that in the playthrough of uh, Pokemon Maryland so long ago, but I can't remember anymore how to enter it. Maybe I should watch that video again sometime. Sewers are a perfect place for hiding. Are you just going to stay here? Alright, I can't talk to your Pikachu. Alright. Stick up your thumbs. And curl your fingers. That's a thumb up, thumbs up pose. Means okay. Huh. Okay. What, you want to go in the sewers? Well, okay, but watch out for wild Pokemon. What is a ship? I want to see what the ship goes. I don't think we can. Okay, uh, Castellia sewers. I love the music here, too. Bodoy, I need you to get tougher. Even I'm going to have trouble taking them on all by myself. I'll take care of healing our Pokemon. Uh, sure, I'm ready to go. Yay! It's gonna be like that, uh, what do you call it, Partner, partnering up style they did in Gen 4, right? Where you, 
a guy who just heals your Pokemon every time. This is perfect for grinding, actually. I can do this right now. I can just pause the storyline for a bit. And let's fucking grind. Because you heal my Pokemon immediately. Hello. Wait a second. I dropped something here. Just wait till I find it. So, I can't cross here yet? Okay. That's fine. Let's face off some double battle wild Pokemon. Honestly, yeah. If you find something like this in a game... And let me just say, um, Gen 4 was ripe with this stuff. You got to take give it, uh, take it to your advantage and train your Pokemon because you will not get infinite heals anymore after this is all done. Bubble Beam, one of the Grimers. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Alright. You know, I honestly never really liked the color of Alolan Grimers. I prefer the original purple. It's so weird seeing them is like a sludge green. I mean, I know that that's what they were going for because, well, Grimers are literal sludges, but purple just seemed more cool to me. That's why I prefer regular Grimer over a lowland Grimer. That's just me. I'm sure a lot of people prefer this one, but hey, it's Pokemon Moon Black too. After all, we don't really have a choice. We're gonna we're gonna live with the Alolan Grimers. Oof, you're gonna bite me. Poison Touch? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Goodness, that's actually overpowered. We have no plans on catching you though, so I'm just going to um, take you out. Do I even need to return you? No, I don't. Thank you. Thank you, Brion. How do you pronounce that? Is that Brion or Brioni? Can't remember. Cannot remember at all. I don't think I'm gonna repel. I'm gonna try and battle all the wild Pokemon I encounter. Wait a minute. Is this where we're supposed to go, or... I can't remember. I don't even care. I think this video is going to take like an hour. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, Slowpoke and Ghastly. That's pretty sweet, honestly. Uh, um, we're going to start off with the... We're going to start off with the Ghastly, because that's honestly a threat to me. Oh, we're going to curse. That's okay. Wait, uh, you sent a... You cursed Brioni, right? Not me. I think you did, because I, I saw the letter B. Oh, level 22 now for a Pingo. Here we go. Bubble Beam. Ah, shoot. That was meant for Ghastly. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Brioni is cursed. Not me, thank goodness. I love how these wild Pokemon are focusing on Gladian's Pokemon and not mine. Wait, I think Return does more than Pluck. Let's go, buddy. Hm. Why would you use water type moves on a water Pokemon, Gladion? I'll never know. Or is water... Does Brioni only know water type moves? If so, that's pretty sad. Can't go in there. Ah, uh, yeah, I think we're supposed to fill these up or something. I think there's like uh, something where we, we fill up these sewers or something. Hey, Edna's! A bunch of them too. They're all boys though. Ew. By the way, the back sprites of these Pokemon trainers. Fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. I uh, will bubble beam one of you. I don't even care. Icy Wind. You had that all along? Alright. Oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Yo, Gladian. Ain't fucking messing around. Making quick work of these guys. I'm getting so low experience from these two. Oof. Oof in the chat. Special defense. X items are honestly viable for me at this game. Can't go there. Random trainers. Alright. Ah, I think those are single battles too, right? So it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm going to speed the speed up the rest of this. Because it, li it will literally take two hours. <laughs> Let's battle this. Zubat is dead. Oh, beam. Alright. Easy peasy. You know what? Do we have enough repels? Let me check real quick. Because I figured we're not actually going to get enough. And like the, It's pretty tedious to battle these guys and we're not really getting any experience whatsoever. I have three repels. I'll have to... Uh, Make them last as long as possible. Hello, Gecko in the background. 
And here's the uh, one of the first trainers I'll encounter. Let's see what you got, boy. Let's see what you got. Worker Zack. Three Pokemon starting off with a drill word that is perfect Mundo. Okay, dokey. Bubble Beam. Yo, yo, that speed me. Curse you. Bubble Beam. Should do a lot. Alright. Nice. Rock and Rolla. Oh, hell yeah, we're gonna stay in. We finally have an answer to rock types. Oh. Pingu, you are a godsend. Godsend. You have sturdy, though. Oh, no. This means I... Probably, probably won't have a problem with the Drift Vale City Gym. I mean, I'd like to think it's still a ground type gym, but oh well. Finish off with the return, I don't even care. You have literally 1 HP. Okie dokie. No respect. Almost a level 20. Ooh, Lycanroc M. Shoot, I want to see what that is. That's midnight form, right? No, midday. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. Same as ours then, alright. Wasn't ours Lycanroc D, though? Oh, ours is Dusk Form, right? So is ours Dusk Form? I need to check. I need to check real quick. I can't remember anymore. Uh, I can't check the actual look of the Pokemons in battle. I'm sorry. I forgot. It's fine. I'll finish off the uh, Bubble Beam first. You should be a dead boy by now. There we go, level 23. That's my boy Pingu. Alright. I lost your money. Okay, let's press forward. Okay, uh, yeah, we need to fill these water, the water in these sewers up if you want to cross through there, I guess. Is that seasonal or does something control that? Oh, hey, that's a nurse, dude. Have leftovers. Oh, sweet. That is actually really fucking good. I will give that to somebody right now. Dude, we have so many nice items right now. There's an Eviolite. There is Leftovers. I think that's it, but, you know, that's, that's a lot for me. I'll give that to Rhonda just because you're the only one who's not holding anything. And an Eviolite would be useless on you. Alright, let's battle you. Yes. So, in this game, if you guys don't know already, if you battle doctors in these routes, um, they will be legally obliged to heal your Pokemon endlessly as soon as you're done beating them. Oh no, you have another Noivern. Oh no, PTSD, PTSD. Um, can't hit you with a Bubble Beam because I'll do nothing. Let's just return you or something. Poison Dragon is honestly a really interesting typing. Wait, are you Poison Dragon or Dragon Flying? I can't remember. Shoot, that is nothing. How much does Pluck do, real quick? If it does less, then I think we're screwed. Do you have a berry? Oh, that does a lot. Oh no, it's a crit. <laughs> Damn, we're getting so lucky with these crits, but only on regular trainers. Yo, a doctor has a fucking Hyper Potion. That's new. That is so new to me. Alright, let's get another high roll, please. Maybe another crit? Oh no. Yo, Gladian, can you uh, heal me in the middle of battle? <laughs> Didn't think so. Um, I'm going to use a super potion, just because. I want Pingu to get this experience. Just going to spam wing attack, alright. Pluck. Oof. Yeah, it speed us. Two free wing attacks. They pretty much do the same damage. I'm just gonna return again. Why not? Oof. You hit pretty darn hard, Noivern. I'll give you that. But I'm better. Hell yeah. Pingu. Deserves all that experience. Level 24 now. I think you're our main guy. Bide? Mm. I don't think you can survive. Oh wait, no, you know. Let's see if we can delete one move for it. I'll get rid of Growl maybe? Bide might prove to be useful in the future. Who knows? I don't. I don't, you know. 
Sandy Ghast, Ghost Ground. Oh, we need to stay in, actually. We actually need to stay in. Um, I'm also gonna... Oof, I don't want to use up any more of my potions. I'm gonna... Oh, no, uh, what I meant to say, super potions. I don't want to use up more of my super potions. I'm gonna just... Oh, you have Mega Drain? Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're not dead. What the hell? Do you outspeed us, though? I think we can get a Bubble Beam off. Yes, we outspeed. That should be a lot of damage. Oh, that is a lot of damage. Shoot, I didn't even need to heal there. That's alright, though. Grimer last. Uh, we can go to someone else for this. You have Poison Touch, too. Shoot. Let's go, uh... Lawrence, I guess? I'm hoping that the gym in the city is a Bug-type gym, so we can get some training for... Uh, both Toracat and Lycanroc. Lycanroc, especially, because he's kind of losing his edge on level-wise, you know? Firefang, Charcoal. Oh, that is a lot. Good stuff. Minimize, that's annoying. This is where no miss moves is very useful. Eek, exactly there. Exactly right there. No poison, please. Oh, of course you poisoned me. Poison touch, goodness. What's interesting to me, too, is... How was Poison Point, like, a Gen 2 ability? Or no, a Gen 3 ability from the start. But Poison Touch wasn't a thing until Gen 5. That was weird. Like, you think they could have come up with that idea much earlier in the game? Something to think about. Was that last Pokemon? Let me check. Yes! Hey! Ho! Alright, and we're healed automatically. But he's gonna heal him me anyway. I'm gonna get double healed, why not? Alright, so we can come here anytime you want now. <gasps> Whoa! Hello? Can we catch this thing? Shoot! Save state right now. I'm doing so many save states, I don't care. What is going on? The wild Totodile attacked you. Whoa, wait, how do we... How does this happen? Is this a double battle? Oh no. Oh no, I think we glitched out. I don't think we're supposed to be here. I'm gonna get away from that for the moment. Um, I don't want this game to crash. I don't think they wanted you. Okay, we're gonna use another repel. I don't think they wanted you to double battle that thing, but that is something you can find, I guess. It needs to be a single battle. We're not actually supposed to be here yet. I don't think the creator thought about a player coming over here before this mission is finished. So, um, alright. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I had to save state right there. It's a good thing I save stated because I really thought there would be a glitch. Because, yeah, in my mind I was thinking, that's a single battle Pokemon. Well, there's two of us. Well, I don't think the... Hackers have found a code wherein uh, you can only do single battle on wild battles like they do in trainer battles if there's two of you as a partner. So I think the game's like forcing that to be a double battle, but they don't even know what other Pokemon it should be. So that's why they gave you a question mark. And I, I did not want that to be a glitch. So that's it. Um, what do we do with this Muna? How much does Return do? Let me check. Aha, uh -huh, okay. You're getting liberal with your X items. Ah, oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, scientists in this game, they love using X items. Something inter interesting about them. Porygon, we're gonna go to Lawrence for this one. I need a chance. Alright. Minus attack, always a good thing. Oh no, you're gonna intimidate me too, shoot. Forgot you have Trace, that's kind of annoying, but it's fine, it's fine. Um, double kick. Hopefully that does a lot still. Eesh, that... Intimidate, man, that intimidate. Psybeam, oh no! Oh no, and a crit too, that is unfair. Anyway, another double kick should finish you off. Yay yo! 452 experience, why not? Musharna. 
We don't have bite, sadly. Do we have one on anything? Oh, we have bite. I okay. I'm forgetting my Pokemon moves. We have one on Rhonda. Forewarn. Yes. Hopefully it's a Tuco. No. Oh, you flinched though. Hell yeah. Oh, nice. Critical too. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you for your service. Okay, we're getting all these levels right now. This is what it's all about. If I were to express this disappointment. And some more text. <laughs> I can't read through all that. It's fine. Uh, what's in this room? Something's gonna happen in this room and I don't know what. Trash can is empty too. Is that where you find Rotom in the original games? Oh no, I'm down to my last repel. No. I need to buy more repels. I think that's all you can do here. And here, thankfully. My god, this place is a labyrinth. We've already been there, so... Oh no! We're out of repels. It's fine. Let's just run away from all the battles. Except for trainer battles. Cleaning takes a lot of strength. I'll be... I'm training real hard right now. Okay. Let's see what you got. Felix! Oh, hey, it's a YouTuber. Okay, eradicate. I don't think I should be leading off with Pingu anymore. I think I'm going to lead off with Toracat next. Let's just bubble beam me regardless. Hmm. That thing is a strong ass Pokemon. Wait, let's actually try Bide right now. Please attack me. Hell yeah. So this is gonna hit you with double the power when it lands, alright? Assurance, come on, yeah. Deal damage, deal damage. Boom Diada? Oh, nice. Bide is actually pretty useful if you know how to use it, alright. If it's guaranteed, if your Pokemon is, not, is guaranteed to not die in two hits, Bide is really goddamn useful. Okay. We're gonna go Ronda for a Golbat. Let's see. We'll just go straight for a rock throw because uh, Golbat's defense is pretty darn shitty. Hell yeah, see that? There's so much damage. And we have leftovers. I already forgot about that, but that's good to have. I will finish you off with a bite just so I make sure I don't miss. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Level 23 now for Ronda. We're catching up level wise. This is all good. Rock Tomb! Ooh, nice! Nice, 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 nice. That's 95 accuracy, right? Compared to Rock Throw. That's 50-90. And Rock Tomb is 58. What? Oh, no. Rock Tomb got nerfed? Shoot. I don't want to learn it then. 50-90 with 15 PP for Rock Throw versus 50-80 with 10 PP for Rock Tomb. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. I don't want it anymore. Shoot, I think they nerfed Rock Tomb. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Shoot. Keep old moves. I don't need that. I don't need that in my life anymore. Darn it, wasn't Rock Tomb 6095 originally? It's kind of a bummer that they choose to, to nerf it in this game. Or is that actually. Was it actually nerfed in like Gen 5 in general? I don't. I don't remember. Uh, okay. Anywho, uh, Rock Throw is way more viable. I'm hoping for a 100 accuracy Rock type move in the future. Oh, wait, you're nearing level 25, right? That means you're close to learning Accelerock, hopefully. Hopefully. I really need you to learn Accelerock pronto. That's an amazing move. Um, we're going to speed up that whole process. We're going to put you up front, Rhonda. Hopefully, you can outspeed these wild Pokemon and get out of them, get off them quicker. What is down here? Uh, more more wild Pokemon. Uh, well, these are Zubats. We can actually take these on. Um, rock throw real quick. And either one of these. Nice. Water Pulse. That should take you out. No. Finish off with a bite. 
good stuff. Eh, not enough, but it's worth at least a few seconds of our time. More trainers. I'm just gonna use up all of his time. Trainer battling. Trainer battling. What do we have here? Walker Worker Scott has a Voltorb. It's a good thing we changed to Rhonda. Alright. Uh, we don't have ground type moves either. We're just gonna... I don't think you can hit that hit us that hard, right? We can just we can just howl once and I think we can uh, maybe two shot all your Pokemon. Spark shouldn't do much, right? Also, it doesn't paralyze your Pokemon. Nah, it doesn't. Alright. We're gonna do a little bit of strats, cause why not? I'm gonna rock throw. That should do a lot now, right? Oh hell yeah, that's a one shot now. Howl is worth it, ladies and gents. Okay. Raichu! Oh, hell yeah, we're staying in. Plus one attack. Oh, whoa, 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 we forgot. Oh, that's a, a Lolan Raichu. Shoot, I'm forgetting my Lolan forms. Are you are you still neutral damage to Rock Throw, though? How do we outspeed you, too? What the hell? You look like a fast mon. Tail Whip? Oh, sad to be you, bro. Wasting your move. Your one move on a Tail Whip. All right. Speed boost. Oh, no. <laughs> Just as I say that, I think you're gonna outspeed me too this turn. Yep, Thundershock, that's fine. That's fine. No paralysis, come on. This is your last Pokemon, I presume? Yep. Yeah. Oh, we're so close to level up too, it's fine. Because we're fully healed right after. Is there anything here? Oh yeah. A life orb, whoa! We're getting so we're getting amazing items. What the hell? So we can't go further uh, left anymore. Um, you know, we're so close to getting a level up. I'm just gonna rock throw the Zubat. Why not? Level 24 now. Accelerate rock? Nah, level 25. Alright, uh, let's run away. I don't care about this Grimer. I really should have stocked up on Super Repels. I oh, can't go any anywhere up, up there. There's an item there I want, but can't get to it. More wild Pokemon, get away from me. We are 47 minutes into this recording as of right now, and I have not furthered anything regarding anything. I'm just exploring this place. Oh, you can find Sandy Ghast here. What? That's pretty darn sweet. Is there anything up here? Oh, that's where we came from. Um, Maybe Team Rocket. No, not Team Rocket. What am I saying? Team Skull are found in this area. I think we've explored all we could explore for the time being down there. Oh yeah, there's Team Skull stuff here. Is there. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'll get to them eventually. Don't worry. Run away from these guys. Nothing up. To, nothing over here. Okay. Okay. You know what? Now. Now. I swear to god, now we're gonna go to Team Skull. Finally! 48 minutes into the video, we're finally doing what we're here for. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna get this Twisted Spoon, lastly. And, uh, we're gonna fight these guys. Hey! What you want? Team Skull, you villains! Don't treat us like villains and don't interfere with our plans to liberate Pokémon. Liberate? Ha! You're just ordinary Pokemon thieves. And what's more, you use those stolen Pokemon like they're tools. I think we all do. I don't know. Shut up! Hand over your Pokemon! Let's do this, Modoy. Double battle, or is this a single battle for each? Let's check it out. Yeah, double battle! Alright, we finally get to see... A Gladian's Pokemon in full action. Ooh, Magnemite. Not good for me. That's a part steel type. Hopefully you don't have any steel type moves though. That'll be good for us. I'm gonna start off with a rock throw on the Scorpy. Oh come on. Accurate pressure? Oh no. Oh no, you're stat boosting. Eesh. And the paralysis on Brioni. Sad. Okay, let's not miss this time, Rhonda, please. Alright. Damn, that is a lot. 
Damn, these double battle tactics, dude. The accurate pressure. Evasiveness rose sharply. Shoot. That's ridiculous. These Team Skull Grunts are a lot harder to beat than they originally were in Alola. They've really improved. Okay, one more rock throw for the Scorpy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Thank you for taking that out for me. I am going to rock throw the uh, Magnemite now, and that's not going to do a lot. Oh, that's going to do nothing. Because I'm just going to miss. Oh yeah, because your evasiveness rose sharply. Shoot. Shoot me in the leg, buddy. Radicate. Hmm. Maybe we can uh, rock throw you. How much does that do? Oh, that does enough. That's like a uh, three shot. This Bri the Brioni is getting so much damage. Goodness, it sucks to be Gladian right now. Does this take out the Eradicate? Not even close. Speed fell though. Pretty good. Full Eradicate. So let's just gang up on this Eradicate for the time being. One more rock throw should take you out. Yes. Okay, so this Magnemite is the only problem we have left. Spark. I'm gonna finish off Brioni. Oh dear. Uh, hopefully Gladian's next Pokemon's good. Rockruff. Oh no. <laughs> We're doomed, man. We're fucking doomed. Um, I need to lower that. Oh, we can actually leer both Pokemon at once. That's pretty sweet. I need to leer that Magnemite. I'll leer the Magnemite for you. Hit it for me, Rockruff. Oh, come on. We're just doing double strats on this guy. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. That Magnemite hits really hard right now. But, thankfully, he's only hitting Gladian's Pokemon, so we can still do this. Um, How much does Bite do? Oh, no. Ah, oh, that would have been the one. This Magnemite doing double duty right here. Did not expect this kind of performance from Magnemite. Jeez. Um... Damn. Alright, that would have done it. First time, alright. So... One more Pokemon. Golbat. Perfect, actually. Rock throw. That should one-shot, right? Yes! Alright, so that Magnemite was the only problem. And that was all thanks to Scorpy's Accurate Pressures. <laughs> okay. So you stole those Pokemon and you found strats for it? Damn. It must have been because we were wasting so much time you found stuff to do. Anyway, whatever. We got the Pokemon we need, now we flee. Yo! Che! They run away like Patrat. Alright, let's go further inside. There might be more in there. I don't think that's necessary, you two. Where did that come from? Yo, hello. Is that Ili Ilima? Could you be gym leader Ilima? Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. One and the same. I'm Ilima, and there was no one suspicious beyond here. Is that so? Yes, indeedy. Who uses that word anymore? I'm concerned about Team Skull. Most importantly, shall we leave this place? For some reason, uh, the sewer is bugging me. Huh. Didn't you and the other gym leaders fight Team Skull two years ago? Thanks for your help. HMO4 Strength. Alright. Hopefully, um, our rat attack can learn that. I'll find those Team Skull punks. I'll never forgive Pokemon Thieves. No way. He's way too emotional. He is gone. You there! Where are all these people coming from? Uh-oh, it's Cress. Shoot. That was an excellent demonstration of battling the way you brought out the power of your Pokemon against an opponent like Team Skull. Astounding. Simply astounding. Interesting as well, I see. And he's just gone, Ski. So many interesting characters. Who was that? No matter. What are you gonna do? You can stay here and train, or you, ch uh, you come challenge me, the gym leader. Be seeing ya. Okay, well then, that's that, I guess. Uh, I think we're going to stay in just a little bit longer. 
Um, I kind of want Ronda to gain one more level. What is up here? Uh, nothing. Can't go to that item yet. Sandy Gast, let's get away from you because you are a part ground type. And that scares me. What is it in this place? Whoa, Relic Passage. This is where Crest came from? Oh, the trainers? I need some trainer battles. A few more before we end the episode. The fact that you are here means you're also part of the sewer. Interesting. Terrence has a Porygon. Okay. Let's check this out. Trace and turn to Steadfast. Oh yeah, we lost our Vital Spirit. Now we have Steadfast. I will Rock Throw. You should be a two shot. Special Defense raise with your X item. Oh, come on. You didn't raise your special your evasiveness. Rock Throw. Yeah, that's a two shot. Agility? Nah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. What are you gonna do? Oh, we still outspeed you somehow. Is Porygon actually that slow? Goodness. Oh, so close to level 25. I think that's our only goal right now. Or also, explore the rest of his cave. Because this seems like a very explorable cave. Before we take on the gym. Ah, you know what? Screw it. Um, We're going to explore the rest of his cave next episode. And then, when we're done with that, because this should be not too long anymore of a cave. We're going to go straight back into Castelia City. And we're going to battle... Gym leader Elima. I hope he has bug types because if he doesn't then I kind of trained uh, my Lycanroc for nothing. So regardless, um, leave a like if you enjoyed the series and if you enjoy my new style. Subscribe for more and I'll see you very soon. Honest to God, I'm actually having fun with this style now. So thank the Lord I can happily make more episodes. Ha! Bye bye everyone.